So I was looking for a song to flip. And usually the songs that I choose have sounds and like pieces to them that are pretty uh, isolated so I can cut them up and reprogram them and juggle, chop up, trigger samples, whatever. But I was listening to Rockstar with Post Malone. There's something about it that still, even though it has a very kind of woozy, dreamy kind of flow to it, I felt like I could still do something with it. Um, in part because of those notes, and I started thinking like I bet you I could reprogram those notes and do a tone play thing into another melody and I noticed there's a few parts where the vocal is just isolated so I started messing around with it I like the, the notes in the beginning so uh, right away I put some cue points Realize this thing. If I want to do the 21 Savage shit, I just need this one note that might be missing from these notes. It's okay because I can I can pitch it. That's when I know I have something here. Now I gotta construct a whole thing around it. And I think in terms of patterns. I try to find different parts of the song where I could do something that's unique enough that the listener hopefully won't get bored and I could just jump from, you know, whatever parts of the song um, give me the elements I need to flip it and construct this like sequence of patterns that flows, hopefully flows well enough to, to keep people's attention. Maybe there's a part where I could juggle the beat with my two turntables and turn it into something. So I just queue up the first downbeat of the song. I'm not loving how this is coming together. It's kind of boring and just linear. So then I start thinking, all right, I can always come back to this kind of pattern, but let me start hitting some, some cue points and maybe there's like a you know, drum machine, NPC type of thing I can do where I can flip it into these little chops that might be more interesting. And I can always mix little jigga jiggas in there. And I like this. I like that the attack of that. I like the little, you know, the little bend on the note. And I like doing tricks like this. I got something there. So now I'm thinking, I start listening to different parts of the song, just looking for another kind of pattern I can do. Um, you know, just bring it to a different place, like literally a different emotion, something that just has a different vibe. I'm listening to this part. sample like that feels like something I would flip to make a new beat so I know I can make loops on Serato and I start thinking will be cool because I like the movement of those chords in that sort of haunted part is to cycle through little pieces of loops and create sort of a new beat with their beat and I'm, th I'm getting into like sample chop mode <laughs> But the real challenge is that I, I'm gonna wanna cycle through the different parts of the loop on this side and get a drum going with this hand. So I'm already thinking of my coordination. The pattern of the chord loop that I come up with is like this. Then figure out these drums 
where I put a little bit of reverb just to get it washed out into that same, you know, droney vibe as, um, as the loop itself. So, with the loop, tough but I got it someone's got to do it now I'm thinking you know what this thing is like getting pretty complex but I feel like I need one thing that has like that little that energy you know what I mean I don't want it to be only vibey I think the song's actually giving me way more than I even anticipated in the beginning and I'm gonna try to come up with one more pattern that just has more punch like I was saying in the beginning usually I need a beat that has isolated noises and this one, everything is so washy that I'm not finding the part I need to give something that's got the chutzpah, you know, that, that gets you here. But then I have an idea. I could do whatever I want with technology. I don't have to only use the original commercially available artist version of Rockstar. I could grab anything I want and put it on a file and it's on Serato and it could be like my version of the remix that I flipped and I remember that my buddies GTA, shout out to GTA, did a really cool remix of Rockstar. I'm thinking I hope this drop gives me something I can play with. that I could do a pattern that's technically very simple but because the track is so spazzy I can make it spazzy funky <laughs> The dish and I, I'm imagining some sauce on the dish and I start thinking all right effects that's one thing I haven't done yet in this whole thing today I haven't gone into my little tool belt so yeah so then I think do I want to like do a pitch shifter thing <laughs> That's one option. I'm also thinking like I'm going maybe I could have like a filter thing. But like the GTA joint is already kind of busy and something like a filter or pitch shift, I'm just thinking like it's like busy on top of busy. I need this to, I need the sauce to be on top of the steak, not to change the steak. That's when I think of this uh, noise generator thing. I like those high notes. sequence of my patterns, the arrangements, the architecture, the city planning of my little thing here. Let's get it. Hey, Trey. I'm a f rock, 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 rock. Rock, 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 rock star. Rock, 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 rock,
like star. Okay.